Uh, totally library-oriented question. How much does your staff have to uh, mediate the activity at the fix-it station? You get into lines and conflicts and things like that. Never. Never. That's a good answer. Yeah. It's, I mean, I go out once a day. I look at it to make sure it hasn't been vandalized or removed or disappeared. And it hasn't, nothing's happened. We've had one, uh, two instances where uh, one person, some teenagers, the same teenagers on both times, uh, one had removed magnets that are on, on the, the, the nozzle that hold it in place and one had unscrewed it. But we have had no disagreements. We have had no, yeah, it's great. So. That was kind of my question is about vandalism and it parts missing because it looks like you could just cut off some of the tools and take Sure, it. yeah, you'd think that. But the reality is they're, the tools are attached with heavy-duty cables. I mean, if someone came in with bolt cutters and really wanted to cut them off, they could. But these are $3 tools. I mean, they're, they're steel tools that you could probably get for 3 bucks at you know, the local bike store. They're not... You know, they're not ratchet sets, they're not anything like that. So the tool piece isn't a, isn't a concern. Um, you know, I was really worried about graffiti initially, and you know, this is one, I knew this question would come up, so I didn't put it in the, in the slides. Um, but um, we have a, it's galvanized metal. It's basically galvanized pipe is what the, 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 it's made out of. The reason we did that is in case it did get like spray paint or graffiti, we could just grind it out and it wouldn't, no one could tell. They do sell them with powder coated stuff too. So. Anyone else? Okay, after. Uh, Michelle, what kind of um, <clears throat> uh, feedback did you get from the riders from the Giro de Libro ride? Yeah, um, I'm still going through the survey responses. I did put a survey out. Uh, they want to do it again. So yes, I'll be planning, I'm planning a ride just for San Jose for next May, tie in with National Bike Month and Bike to Work Day and the Amgen Tour. Hopefully San Jose hosts another stage and that's a great time for us to hold the ride. But everyone wanted to do the ride again. So that was very nice. <laughs> okay, um, my first question is for Paul and that is what's the population of Mountain View and kind of size dynamics? Yeah. Plus, for both of you, I would like to know any questions or concerns about liability, um, insurance, stuff like that. So Mountain View is 75,000 people. I mean, it's just under 75,000. So we can um, report that for our database purchasing statistics. Um, but um, we do have a lot of other cities really close by. And we have a lot of communities that are really nearby. So the, the population locally is 75,000, are, are, it grows to over 100,000, um, well over 100,000 during the day because of Google, because of all the startups in town, because of all the other activity that's taking place during the day. So, um, As for liability and any insurance issues, uh, we don't ask. I mean, um, on occasion we may uh, have a program that requires us to do that. I think the the ride, the road skills class. I mean, people were on their bike in the parking lot. Yeah, so we did have them sign something, I think, uh, or maybe we didn't have some something signed. <laughs> I like looked at Emily's face, but we thought about it. And um, But our city manager, I mean, our city department is really gives us a lot of leeway as long as, and our friends have insurance as well, so we use that um, as to kind of cover us most of the time. For this San Jose bike ride, on the recommendation of John Brazil, the Department of Transportation person I met with, he did recommend that I partner with an existing bike group. I partnered with the San Jose Bike Clinic, and they're sort of a, under the umbrella of the Silicon Valley Bicycle Coalition. So they did come with a waiver that people signed. For future rides, if I'm not able to participate with a bike group, I, I'm not really sure what I would do. I would probably go back to the Department of Transportation, ask them, or ask for uh, administration in the city of San Jose, what, you know, should we have some additional insurance, or is this a concern for the library? But I did have the participants sign a waiver. One last question. So Winona, who was our um, instructor for the Urban Bike Skills, she had her own insurance. Um, American B League of American Bicyclists, if you're a certified instructor, they provide uh, liability insurance for the instructors. 
Okay, I think we're going to have to cut much. off Q&A at this point. Save any additional questions you have for the end. And thank you both.